Okay, hi. My camera keeps saying it's dying, even though I charged all my batteries yesterday. So I don't know what's happening, so I'm gonna quickly zoom through this video. And sorry if it's not as in-depth as, as I hoped it was gonna be, because my camera is being annoying and it's just really... Grr. Hi, I'm Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe. And today's video is going to be another one in my How I Revised For or How I Study For series. It's going to be my chemistry one, aka chemistry, my absolutely favourite subject in the whole world. I really, I was really looking forward to filming this video because I only filmed the maths one yesterday, and I got really excited. And I was like, yes, I have to film the chemistry one because it's my favourite subject. So that's what's happening today. I hope you get some information, helpful information, helpful tips, you know, so I'm just going to get started with this video. My first tip is that if you're in the level of chemistry, so like A level and I think an advanced higher chemistry, where you have to learn mechanisms, my tip is to make posters. I made these ones and then I actually stuck them here. They were here, they were covering my lovely Avengers poster. And every time I walked in at my room, because this is right next to my door, so every time I walked in and out of my room, I would look at them, I would stand and look at them, I would stand and like stare at them and just be like be like a Jedi, try to get the information all in my head. But it kind of works for structures as well, so if you're learning like the basics of chemistry and you're learning like the alkanes, alkenes, alcohol stuff, if you made a poster on them, stick them on your wall and then stand and stare at it until it goes into your head. No, I'm joking. Just keep it there and then when you walk past, yeah, it's just so you have like constant like reminders of how to do this mechanism, how to draw these structures and yeah I found that really useful for this year. Second tip is make flashcards as you go and don't just leave it until your teacher says you have a test. I did that last year so like left it until my teacher said I had a test and I had so much work to do. So much work to do. You've probably seen some of my previous videos there. I literally spent like hours just making chemistry flashcards because I hadn't done them as I'd gone along. So as soon as you finish a topic, I would recommend going home making the flashcards and then you can always just go over them. Like even like even if you don't have a test, always you could just go over them and then make sure that it's in your head. And then if your teacher asks you a question, like my teacher likes to, she likes to just pick on us randomly and be like, right you answer this question. So if she's asking you a question on like the previous classes topic then you can be like oh yeah I know the answer I'm cool mm, check apps like Quizlet are really good for like on the go flashcards especially if you need to learn definitions like this year in our pharmaceutical chemistry we had to learn the definitions of stuff off by heart like agonist and antagonist there's like types of drugs basically and the effect that they have on the body so we had to learn them off by heart and having those Quizlet flashcards on my phone was really good because say if I was on the bus to school on the bus to meet my friends at work on my break just pull up Quizlet and be like oh just check through them and it's also really good because you can like star the ones that you don't know and then you just study the starred ones and there's also like games and stuff so if you were doing it for languages I know this is chemistry video but if you were doing it for languages if you had vocab and you wanted to like match them up there's games and stuff that it does that for us. So another tip I have is whiteboards and you don't always have to have a whiteboard I just use you know those plastic folders like the thicker ones not the ones that you put into binders the plastic folders I put one of them and I put a white piece of paper inside it and then choose a whiteboard pen to write on it so you don't actually have to have a whiteboard but whiteboards are good so say again with mechanisms and structures and also if you want to write down your mechanism or your structure say for NMR I always used to use that to like test out all the different structures before I wrote it down on the paper, on the test paper and especially in exams, I know you just can't take a whiteboard into the exam with you but you can um, like use the back pages of the exam paper at SQA we get like blank pages at the back of the exam paper to for rough working and additional answers that's what it says at the top of the page but I always like wrote down my structures first to like check that they were okay and check that they were right because obviously in the exam paper you only get like a this this big to put your answer in and you've got to write it in pen so if you get it wrong then it's a bit annoying having to tip it all out and waiting for it to dry and all that stuff so yeah a whiteboard or just spare pieces of paper is always good to practice mechanisms on or draw structures before you write them down so again when it gets to exam season past papers again are your best friend 
I know they're boring but just sitting and doing them and again like maths there's not that many questions they can ask you open questions specifically we have them in SQA they're like three Marco questions where you just get a blank page and it's like using your knowledge of chemistry just blurt out everything you know about this bit about chemistry um, them especially getting used to them is good because sometimes I think like the past two years SQA not my exam but the past two years they had a question on colour and transition metal complexes or organic compounds so if you learn how to write all the information about that then you're sorted because there's probably going to be a question on it. Also if there's a quest specific question that you found really really difficult I would write it down and then a few days later come back and then see if I'd learnt how to do it but obviously the first time I went over the answers and wrote it down and wrote the solutions and stuff so then I would go back and do that question again and then see if I'd learnt anything from the time before and I found that really useful. I hope you find this video um, interesting and helpful. Um, yeah, and I hope you all like chemistry as much as I do, because I love chemistry. And I'm really sad that I won't be taking it at uni next year. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you soon with my physics video, or maybe another video in between. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!